Hello everyone and welcome to Cam Tai Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the griddle stitch. The griddle stitch is a fairly easy stitch to make. It is a um, raised stitch so it has a nice uh, texture to it. Um, it starts off with, um, it has single crochets and double crochets going back and forth. So, as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. I have some, just some old yarn that I have here um, from, I think, a sweater that I made. And I'm using a 7 millimeter hook. Um, it doesn't really matter which hook you use. I'm just showing you the kind of hook that I'm using here. And um, we're going to chain an even number of stitches. We're going to chain 12. We're going to make 12 chains. So go ahead and uh, make your slip stitch and let's go. So we're going to start off with our chain. Make an even number of chains. You can make whatever you want. I'm just going to make 12 chains here. Okay, so now we're going to skip three chains and we're going to single crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. You're going to begin with a single crochet and end with a single crochet in every row. So here's our single crochet. In the next stitch, you're going to make a double crochet. In the next stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. And you just do this back and forth, alternate, alternate back and forth between your single crochet and your double crochet until you get to the end. When you get to the end, your last stitch should be a single crochet. Okay, so we're now at the end of the row and I'm going to put this last single crochet in this last stitch here. So now we're going to get ahead, sorry, and turn our work. I'm sorry, we're going to chain three and then turn your work. This is what it looks like so far with your single crochets and your double crochets. Not much yet, but as you go, you will see more detail. We're going to remember we're counting this chain as a double crochet. You're going to skip the first stitch and go into the next stitch with a single crochet. You will always begin with a single crochet and then end with a single crochet. In your next stitch, you do a double crochet. In the next stitch will be a single crochet. And again, you're just going to keep alternating this stitch back and forth until you get it as long as you want it, to, as, as long as you want to. Um, it's good for a scarf, uh, it really is because it's the stitches are nice and close and they come together so that there really are no holes. Um, but again, like I always say, you can pretty much use um, stitches for just about anything that you want to. So I'm going to continue on with this here and this is my single crochet. I'm going to put a double crochet into the next stitch and then finally a single crochet in the last stitch. Excuse my little knot here. As I said, this is an old yarn from another time. Um, there's that last single crochet in there. Chain three. And then go ahead and turn. And we're going to do one more last row for you. And if I'm going too fast, you can always slow it down. Go ahead and skip that first chain. Go into the, uh, skip the first, yes, to skip the first stitch. Go into the next stitch with a single crochet. And just alternate back and forth with that until you get to the end. When you get to your last stitch, you want to put a single crochet into the third chain. Because remember, that chain from the previous row, your first chain that you made, counts as a double crochet so when you get to the end of the row and you have that chain what's left you're going to put a single crochet in the third loop of that chain the very top loop of that chain so i'm almost at the end i'm going to go ahead and put a single crochet in here 
a double crochet in the next one and a single crochet in the last one. And as you can see, I'm going into that very top chain of that three chain from the previous row. And I'm making my last final single crochet of that row. Okay, so that's the end of our tutorial. And I really, really like this stitch. It's a raised stitch, so it has a nice, pretty raised texture to it. Use it in any color. Use it, um, you can switch it up and change colors if you want to. But thank you for watching another tutorial. I'll be back with another tutorial very soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.